in my headphones and it's really bothering me <laughs> um so anyway um at the beginning we were warming up in the grass arena and um it was a little interesting because gwen thought it was cross country but um that's okay um and so here's just a couple clips of us trying to warm up um it was a little difficult but gwen eventually warmed up to the idea that we're not jumping and um it upset her a little bit, but she did really well, and I was super proud. And here's me pointing out a baby bunny that I found, trying to tell my dad that it was really cute, and I thought Gwen killed it, but she didn't, and it was really cute, and so we became friends. Um, so here's one of the dressage tests that we attempted. It is novice test A, I believe, um, which is good because it's the one that we've been practicing at home, but... Uh, Gwen off property and dressage was quite interesting, but I'm really proud of how she was compared to what she usually is. Um, and so I was just really happy. And the beginning was a little off. She wasn't balanced and she was just really excited. Um, kind of fighting with the bit a little bit. Um, being a little spicy, but she did really well. I was just really pleased with how she was throughout the whole day, even though she was a little spicy. <laughs> Um, so the first thing you do in the test is circle left at E, and um, this was a little tense of a circle. It wasn't a perfect geometrical shape, but um, she was figuring it out, and <laughs> I'm very happy that she, um, you know, wasn't freaking out completely. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that circle even though it was a little bit not geometrical that is my fault um, and then we go across the diagonal uh, at F I believe and this was actually really nice even though it looks a little tense I'm really proud of how this was because usually she just goes all wobbly all over the place and there was a bench in the middle and she just ignored it and I was really happy with that um, and we had a lot of good impulsion here. She was a little speedy um, and not working from behind until we got around to the circle, I believe. And then she really started using her back end. She's not usually this fussy with the bit, but <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, she just got really fussy because a horse made, I think. And um, it was just, it was really funny just to see her react to different stimuli that she hasn't had to see at our barn. Um, yeah, she goes giraffe because there was an opening in the arena, and she was very excited about that. She thought it was time to go. Alright, so here's where the test gets really interesting. Um, our free walk has always sucked, and uh, Elisa really did notice that. Um, it was not amazing, and uh, our free walk just isn't that great, especially off property. And so Gwen decided that it was a fun time to start marching her way off and uh, trotting a little bit. And... Um, yeah, Elisa was definitely commenting on that, and I felt really bad, but, uh, we eventually figured it out, and I was very proud of how we figured it out. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> we tried picking up our reins, which is always a fun time when trying to do the test. Um, this is definitely the test that Gwen was very tense in, and, um, but that's okay, I'm not upset with that at all. She just had a little spicy moment there, and we just have to tell her to keep moving forward and that she can't stop just because a friend made at her. Um, which is, I mean, it's okay. Horses have their little off moments, and I like to keep all of those off moments on video, just so that everyone can see that I'm not perfect, my horse is not perfect, and um, I'm really thankful for how we are able to get back from like the little rough spots and go into a nice test um, which I think is very important to be able to recover from those times um, 
one of my favorite YouTubers, Jet Eventing, uh, Jill, she also puts in the bad parts of her rides in her videos, and I really respect that. Um, I really appreciate when I see riders owe up to not being perfect, because um, it's very deceiving when you can see only a rider's good parts of her test. Speaking of good parts, we're about to go across the diagonal again, and Gwen went down with my half haul a little too much, but that's okay. And I was really happy with the beginning of this diagonal. And then she tripped a little bit, um, because she was trying to listen to a half haul a little too harsh, but that's okay. She did amazing anyway. And yeah, so then we go to another circle here. Um, it's a half circle to a full circle in Novice A. Um, and then in the beginning of your half circle, you ask for the canter. And I was so happy with that transition right there. Um, Gwen is usually awful at trot the canter transitions. And I was so happy right there. Where she didn't throw her head up. And she didn't fight me. And that was just so rewarding. Because that's something I've been working on with her for months. So that just really was so rewarding. And I'm so pleased with how the end of this test went. Um... We have not been working on our Halton salutes in a long time, but she went down center line beautifully. Um, and then trying to halt was fun, but <laughs> that's okay. So here's where it gets really interesting. Uh, we went up the cross country, and um, the place that we were at was North Atlanta Equestrian, and they have amazing cross country. Um, but you can see in this video, we had a lot of faults. Um, I was very exhausted, and so I did not support Gwen with my leg, and so you can see right here, she just decided to refuse this novice fence, and, um, yeah, that was very interesting, and the whole time, uh, Elise was just yelling, leg, 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 and for some reason, I was just so tired, I just decided, uh, what's leg, and it was really embarrassing, but that's okay, this definitely was not one of our best days that we've ever, um, but that's okay. I'm glad that we did not perform our best at a clinic so that we could get more um, feedback from Elisa and I learned so much and I was able to utilize that later on um, in like shows and lessons and stuff like that. Gwen was very spooked by the flags right there but she manned up and she did it um, and she's done every jump at the cross country in North Atlanta but she just decided it was a little spooky and so we did have a couple moments and Elisa did note that I lean really far back in cross country because I'm bracing. So that's my dad's head. Um, I'm just bracing because I'm so exhausted. I'm just holding on for dear life. <laughs> um, Gwen, you know, had her little baby moments. She wanted to go back to the trailer. So that was fun. We knocked over a cross country jump and my mom like flipped out. That's okay. <laughs> um, and we had a lot of naughty little moments here. She was just, she was exhausted, I was exhausted, and I was not using my leg to support her at all, and it's totally my fault. You can see later on, Elisa got on her and um, made her a real horse again, like actually trying to work. We galloped up this hill, and that was a lot of fun. Gwen really opened up, and she was so excited. I was not leaning forward enough, and my hands were really high, and it made me really angry, but. That little white pony right there was actually my childhood pony that I rode all the time. Um, I rode her with Elisa. Here's me trying not to die because Gwen decided that she could see home. <laughs> yeah, you can see Elisa on fledge, just like chilling out, judging me a little bit, probably. And then Elisa got on Gwen, which was very interesting, and I felt really guilty that I couldn't ride my horse well enough. Um, but I got a lot of support and feedback, and I. Elisa told me that it wasn't just me. Right there you can see that Gwen was just really not in the mood to uh, really jump. But Elisa got her going, thank god. And uh, even though Gwen was trying to back off jumps, she calmed down a little bit. So I'm very happy. And then my mom recorded sideways and I was really, you know, yeah. And I tried to fix that post editing and this is just a beautiful clip. I hope you enjoy. Um, but there's Elisa. And she refused with Elisa too, so that made me feel a little good, um, because it wasn't just my writing, but uh, most of Gwen was a little naughtiness, because I've never had her refuse with me before. Um, it's just because I was so exhausted, and so is Gwen. But yeah, she's being naughty, so Elisa asked her to touch it with her front legs, um, so that 
not just she touches her nose, but there we go. She actually saw the fence, then she jumped it, and she jumped it amazingly. I was just so impressed by how Elisa got her jumping. Um, and so then I came back at it, and once again, it just went not for me, because I just dropped my shoulders because I was tired, and it, I mean, that's no excuse for me just to quit riding, but it was just, it was embarrassing that I just could not ride my horse properly at this fence. Um, now, I didn't get every attempt on video. Um, there's just a lot of me failing right here, but I keep all of this in the video to show that I'm not a perfect rider and that I'm happy with how my horse is and I just need to work on my own riding. Um, so you can see right there, I literally pulled her away from the fence and it's very frustrating because I don't have confidence issues with riding, but it took me so long just to get her over that fence and it really just upset me, but I'm glad that we ended on a good note. I don't think these videos are in order, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm so sorry that my cross country videos were a little lacking, but I am overall very pleased with how Gwen did this weekend. And hopefully I can learn from my mistakes and go back cross country a lot more confidently.